Now that my son's a toddler, he doesn't like long walks in the stroller. I think he just gets bored. So I bought this. What's happening, Pansy Nation? Peter Von Pandy here. I am sitting next to this little push car here. And the reason is that my son is almost two years old right now and he loves cars. He always wants to get in those little amusement park ride cars that he sees at the mall. And he always points out cars in the parking lot. Just loves cars. I think it's a little boy thing. But he doesn't love going in the stroller because I think he just sits there and he's not entertained. But I think having something like this, a stroller that looks like a car, might get him more interested in long walks again. Or maybe just a little less fussy when we do take him out. So I think that this one is kind of a stroller, kind of a car. Hopefully it works as a stroller. I'm kind of a little worried about how well the wheels absorb the uneven road and the rough road where the bar is that you push the thing hopefully it's at a height that is high enough that you can actually push it and be comfortable and i'm just kind of curious if he will actually like it for you know a 10 20 30 minute walk an hour walk if he does then problem solved if he doesn't it was just 140 dollars expense that i didn't have to make so the first thing we have to do is actually set this thing up so let's do that this is how it comes out of the box. Everything is pretty compact here. I don't think it should be too hard to set up. Obviously, we have a cover right here. Looks like the hardware for the wheels, steering wheel there, little dashboard windscreen, two steering wheels. It's actually for two kids. The wheels are in there. Looks like we get a bunch of covering hardware in here. Little flap for the seat where also you can store some stuff. And then a bunch of decals trick this thing out. I might just vinyl wrap the whole thing with racing stripes. And then the instructions right here. But we'll follow the instructions, but we'll get her done. All right, so the first thing we have to do is put these little receivers on for the steering wheels. You get two of these, they slip right on like this. And then you can see we have some holes on the side. I think you just use this bag with these loose screws here to bolt them on on either side. And then we will drop the steering wheel into there like this. You can see these little detents right here. And so we'll push that through there. And then I think we'll use these big black washers here you can kind of see that uh, they're called the Y washers. So they will kind of go over the bottom and then lock that into place. So an electric screwdriver, cordless drill, something like that is going to be your friend for just putting this together. And of the screws that I pulled out here, it looks like there's some really short ones. So that is what I'm going to use on these little sides here because that's all you're supposed to use. The longer ones will be for something else, I'm sure. All right, I've got the screws in. I pushed the steering wheel down, by the way. <coughs> honks and what i realized here is that when you're pushing this washer on kind of pushes the steering wheel out see if i push that up there i don't get that detent in all the way so what you want to do here is kind of push down on the steering wheel while pushing this piece up i've got the other edge on but if i push down on that other edge of the steering wheel now it gets over there and now that is on as you can see so it is locked on there that washer is holding this on and so you want to do that on both sides here all right, seatbelt straps go in here. You can see where they get anchored in. You screw them in there. One thing I wanna show you is that there is this recessed part, and then if you flip it over, it's flat. Obviously, you want the flat part against the back so that the screw head is kind of recessed so it won't scratch your kid. So it's gonna go on just like this. So you wanna make sure you put all these straps on, and that'll keep your child safe. Now I have dropped the instrument cluster dashboard whatever you want to call it in here just kind of holding it in place got the thing tilted up on the side i just find it easier to screw the screws in downwards and you can see the little dimples there we have one on either side so that's going to hold this in place and then on the front you got to put a couple more screws right down here at the base of the windshield and then lastly a couple right here on the sides all right, I've got it flipped over. There's an axle that goes through here. So we're gonna install the rear wheels. I don't think there's any difference between the wheels. The first thing you're gonna do is take one of these caps and get out the axle for the rear wheel and put it in here. And then I think you're just gonna kind of pound it on. So you're gonna need a hammer of some sort to just pound that cap on and then we can install the wheel. All right, I've got it flipped over. There's an axle that goes through here. So we're gonna install the rear wheels. I don't think there's any difference between the wheels. The first thing you're gonna do is take one of these caps and get out the axle for the rear wheel and put it in here. And then I think you're just gonna kind of pound it on. So you're gonna need a hammer of some sort to just pound that cap on and then we can install the wheel. 
All right, now that that's on, what we need is one of these pieces that will be the hub. You're gonna slide that down the post there. That's going to lock into that wheel. So I'm gonna slide that down and now we can slide the wheel down on top of it. That's gotta go all the way to the bottom, by the way, which I think is the smallest of the washers. And if I look here, that looks like a pretty small washer right there. So if I drop that on, will that work? Yeah, it looks like that works. And now I think I can put this side of the axle on and then I can just pound that in. And then I want to kind of do the same thing on the wheel on the other side there. Now the instructions say to pound this in and attach that. All right, these are the axles for the front wheels and they are gonna go on just like the other wheels. So you've got a cap and then the two parts that brace the wheel in between and the washer. The only thing that you have to kind of keep in mind is that these are marked left and right. And so you wanna make sure you are using the right one. So for example, right there, you can see that's an R. So this is the right side of the car and then the other one is marked left. So that's my only advice here. To put the top in, which mounts here in the corner, you're gonna have to find these little adapters. These are gonna slide in here. You can see we have the holes for the screws, but you just slide that in, screws go in there, screws go down here, right? And that's gonna hold it in, one for each side. All right, so let's get those in. All right, these support bars here, which you can see are kind of like hockey stick shaped, will go in here and there's a little detent that will allow it to fall all the way down to the bottom and then there's a little hole, it's a little easier to see right there, that will brace it in place. Now, one of the things that I wanna mention is that these will be bent back, kind of straight back. So you wanna make sure that the detent is in the right place. In this case, it's centered right here where the hole is and the other one will go there because you don't wanna make sure that they're not pointed the wrong direction. Okay, let's get them in. Next, we're gonna slip over this little backing here. It's gonna actually be the backrest for the kids, but you can also see we have these little pockets here so you can put stuff, water bottles. There are some sleeves right here, so we're gonna just slip them over here. You just wanna make sure the pockets are on the outside as you slip them over these bars. All right, now you're gonna put on these little adapters on here before you put the handle. And what I will show you is that there's kind of this open piece here that will clip onto the handle right here. And then there's this longer, thinner piece with this little trough on it. And that is gonna go towards the inside, okay? And the way you make sure that you have them on the right side is that if you swivel this out, you can see that this little trough is gonna be on the outside of each bar here because there's gonna be a bar for the little carrier I think that fits on the outside there. So if you've got these facing up on the outside, you're in a good position here. And now we can go ahead and put on the top handlebar piece. All right, now this is where it comes together. This is the roof and I've got it upside down here because I'm gonna put it on this way. And you can see we have a little hole there and that bar is gonna go in there and on the other side. The little post here is what holds this handlebar attached to this lower bar. Now, I'm actually going to put it over the top before I put it on, and that's because when it flips down, it locks into place in these little troughs, all right? So let's get it on. All right, I wanna show you how I've got it on, right? I push this plastic sleeve up, aligned to the hole out here with the hole on this bar and this bar and push this in. I will say that it might take a little finagling to kind of get everything lined up, but once you do, it goes in there and now you can flip this over and it snaps into the little trough there. Now we have the roof to the car. So that is pretty much done. On to the next thing. All right, now you can see the little bar poking through here and you'll have these little clips so they have a little curved space there that will go flush against the bar. Just kind of push this in, that kind of cleans it up and uh, holds this bar for the top in. So you might need a pair of pliers. I'm not sure how hard this is to push in there, but you know, that just kind of finishes it off and holds it in place. Makes it so much easier. And then the last thing we have to do is just apply these decals. I mean, you could use it as it is, but if you want them headlights, those tail lights, bumpers, all that stuff, just peel them off and start applying them. But man, this is looking good so far. And I don't know, I probably have an hour into it. It's not hard work to do, but it takes a little bit of elbow grease. It's not just a tool is snapped together situation. A power tool is gonna make a big difference instead of using say a Phillips head screwdriver to put those in. You're just gonna hate life if you don't have something that's electric. But otherwise, so far it's been pretty easy. So let's finish it off and then see if the boy likes it. The other thing I will say is it seems to ride pretty smooth. I mean, plastic wheels, you don't really expect much out of it, but it's easy to maneuver. And I'm doing it with one hand. And even on this slightly uneven crumbling road, you know, it's shaking a little bit, but probably no worse than my stroller. So 
It's actually pretty stable. I dig it, and he digs yeah. it. He will not get out of it at the moment. So if you want to pick up this little car stroller for your car enthusiast toddler, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.